Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special outreach update from Jerusalem, Israel, Yerushalayim. We're living in exciting and prophetic times. There has never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus Yeshua than this generation. We're not setting any dates, but we know that the time is near. We know that the veil is being lifted. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, and Jews in Israel are being saved like never before. There is a revival in Israel. There is a hunger in Israel. You're not going to hear about this in the news. You're not going to hear about this on the internet because the enemy is doing everything he can to suppress the truth. But the truth is that the people of Israel, especially right now in the midst of our war, are searching for the truth, are searching for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we know what the Bible says. No one makes it to the Father, but only through Yeshua, who said it with his own mouth. Yohanan, John chapter 14, verse 6. Yeshua, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the door. No one makes it to the Father but only through Yeshua, only through Jesus. So when Jews in Israel and around the world are searching for the true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we preach the gospel to them and we tell them that the only way to make it to the Father is through Yeshua. The only way to make it to the Father is to understand that Yeshua and the Father are one. The only way to have eternal life is through Yeshua, Jesus, who died on the tree and the cross for our sins. He rose on the third day, and by his blood, all who repent and believe have full redemption of sins and eternal life. But because of the hunger in Israel, because Satan knows that his time is near, the enemy is doing everything he can to get the Jews out of the written word of God. Because the enemy knows that the Bible says, in Romans 10, 17, and I'm paraphrasing, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So he creates books like the Talmud, books like the Zohar, books like the Gemara to get Jews out of the written word of God. So they have books that interpret the Bible and then they have books that interpret the books that interpret the Bible. This is how the enemy is getting the Jews out of the written word of God. Unfortunately, some believers are following these rabbinic traps and are studying the Talmud. The Talmud is not from God. The Talmud is under the influence of the enemy. Especially right now, in this period of time, many, many are waiting for the Mashiach, for the Messiah. What they don't know is that the Messiah has already come, and he's coming back again as the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Ali Yehuda. We are preaching Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Here is my servant, whom I upload, my chosen one, in him I delight. I will put my spirit, my Ruch HaKodesh, my Holy Spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. This is speaking about Yeshua, Jesus. By the guidance of the Ruch HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, we went down to Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, to the Kotel area to preach the gospel. As the team were praying, I began to share Isaiah 42 verse 1 with many. There were two Orthodox men watching me as I was sharing. I went over to them. I introduced myself. They introduced themselves as Shimon Levi and Rafi Shatiach. They asked me, what are you doing here speaking to everybody with a Bible, with a Tanakh in your hand? I said, I'm here to share about Mashiach, about Messiah. They were puzzled and they said, We're all, we also come here to pray that Mashiach will come. I said, I'm in. I then asked them, can we read a Bible verse about the Mashiach? They said, yes. I turned my Bible to Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1 and read together with Shimon and Rafi two yeshiva students from Jerusalem. Here is my servant whom I upload, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. I then asked them, would you agree this is speaking about Mashiach, Messiah? They didn't answer. They said, we need to think about it. And then I asked them a few questions. Whom does God upload? They said, the Messiah. I said, whom does God delight? They said, the Messiah. Who can bring justice to the nations? They said, God. I said, but he's speaking over here about my chosen one. So the chosen one can bring justice to the nations? They said, no, God can give justice to the nations. I said, but it says over here. Let's read it again. Here is my servant whom I upload, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. So who can give justice to the nations? God, yes? They said yes. But if God put his spirit on him and he's the chosen one, then he's God. They didn't answer. And he is the Mashiach, the Messiah. At that moment, something supernatural happened. The prayers of the believers were working. They looked at each other and said, 
We've never seen this before. We're confused. How can God and the Messiah be one? I said, is that, that's what the Bible is showing us here. I then turned the Bible to Tilim Bet, Psalms 2, and read verse 1 and 2. Why do the nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed. Al Adonai ve'al Mishicho in Hebrew. Mishicho and his anointed, his Messiah. Look at verse 6. I read together with him. I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I then asked Shimon and Rafi, whose inheritance is the earth? They said, God. I said, look at verse 8. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. So we can see only God owns the ends of the earth. And he's giving it here to the Mashiach, to the Messiah. Why? Because the Messiah and God are one. They were trembling. They said, this is impossible. But before we continue to read, I want to ask you a question. They said, what? Do you serve God with trembling? They said, yes. I said, look at Psalms 2, verse 11 and 12. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, Nashkubal, or he will be angry and your way will lead you to destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. So you can see God is telling you over here, kiss the son, which is a form of worship, because the son and God are one. Blessed are all, Ashrei Kola Chasubo. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. At that moment, Shimon was getting very upset. He said, you leave now. I know who you're talking about. Leave this place right now. I said, I'm not going anywhere. He said, we can have you thrown out. I said, you could, but you won't. They said, why not? I said, because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob told me to come here to share this love message. Rafi said to Shimon, let's stay here. I want to hear more. I want to know who this is. At that moment, Shimon said, yes, tell us who this is. They were asking to see if I was scared. They knew who I was talking about. It was time for the full gospel. His name is Yeshua, Jesus, who died on the tree on the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day, and by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins and eternal life. And this is what it's talked about in Psalms 2. This is talking about him coming back to reign as the King of kings and Lord of lords. I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. Praise Yeshua. These two Orthodox men who threatened me, who got angry, were now listening to the full gospel. They were standing right there and they continued to ask more questions because nothing is more powerful than the blood of Yeshua. We're small people with a big God. I read many Bible passages with Shimon and Rafi. I gave them my contact information and invited them to join one of our discipleship training programs. Let's pray that they will agree to join. But one thing is certain, Shimon, Rafi, and all those that heard the gospel will never be the same again. And for this, we give all the glory to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the line of the tribe of Judah, Aryeh Yehuda, Jesus Yeshua. Amen. We will continue to preach the gospel no matter what. And for Zion's sake, we will not keep silent. Isaiah 62 verse 1. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. And we know that the word for salvation in Hebrew is the word Yeshua, her Yeshua like a blazing torch. And he's coming back with fire in his eyes as the lion of the tribe of Judah to take back everything that the enemy has stolen. And until that time, we will continue to preach the gospel no matter what. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat sending you blessings from Israel in the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Great I Am, Jesus Yeshua, Amen. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Yeshua, Jesus, is God. Hallelujah, Amen. Those just joining us at home, I'm going to introduce this week's special guests. Born and raised in Israel, he served several years in the Israeli Defense Forces and is the founder and director of Messiah of Israel Ministries, Messianic Rabbi Zev Parat. Good to have you back. 
Dr. Tom Horn, who is the CEO of Skywatch TV, an acclaimed best-selling author himself, raves about Blood Alliance. He says, Messianic Rabbi Zeph Perat has done it again. In Blood Alliance, he's taken several deep mysteries of God's Word and served them up in a thoroughly understandable, engrossing, and biblically contextual manner. I assure you, he says, once you see the truths that Zev brings into glorious revelation, you'll soon begin to recognize those truths throughout the scriptures, hidden in plain sight from first to last. Blood Alliance is an absolute treasure trove. Have you ever heard of God's threshold covenant? If you haven't, you're in for a roller coaster ride of biblical discovery that will enhance your understanding of God's Word and the application of it to your daily life like never before. Messianic Rabbi Zeph Parad will be taking you on a much deeper dive than you've probably ever previously experienced. In Blood Alliance, you'll come to understand the true nature of spiritual warfare like never before. You'll uncover the biblical truth about long-held traditions that still assault God's truth and His grace to this very day, throwing massive doctrinal confusion into almost the entire modern Christian church world. Finally, learn the truth about the temple on the Temple Mount and what the Old Testament and New Testament clearly lay out for the last days. Shocking surprises await you. This truly is a life-changing book to the glory of Yeshua, Jesus.